Yeah, this is like a, there's this place in Tarzana, California called Norms. Mm -hmm. And I had uh, these two touring bases that I toured with like in 2004 or whatever. And um, he offered me, he said, if you sign these and give these to me, um, I'll give you, you know, a really expensive old base. And so he... So is I this signed. a base? This is it. This is, an, this is an original 1961. Um, that's, I think it was, I think he was selling it for like five grand at the time. And so cool. So I've heard that, you know, the old guitars, the old basses, they were manufactured better. Is that the case? I, th I mean, yeah, I mean, I think it has a lot to do with the pickups, the wood, the necks. Um, well, what's the difference now between the pickups and stuff? I think they just make them differently now. There's a wound different. Um, I think, it, and it's also the wood too. Like you know, this wood is from 1961, <laughs> so it's like it's seen some some stuff. That's really cool. Are yeah. you taking that on tour with you? I don't. No. <laughs> no, I use I use uh, 59 reissues. Jack, you know, I don't mind beating up and That's bashing so cool. around. But yeah, this is kind of my my prized bass. That's there. That's awesome. Yeah. So like, what's your uh, your main instrument? Do you have it here with you? My touring bass? Yeah. No, they're in California, but I, I do like to show you the bass I played on all of the records. Sure, that would be really cool. <clears throat> this one, I did tour with this one for All Killer, and and I think for the beginning of this look infected, and then yeah, I started using it on every album. That's for so some cool. reason, this one always. Won't one so i just was like yeah it sounds so good i gotta take it off the road or, or i'm gonna break it one day that's so, so cool I just i took it off the road. any bass players in particular influence you uh not really like i listen to so much stuff now you know when i was um growing up it would have been a lot of the grunge stuff mm -hmm. um, and even you know m mid 90s late 90s like alternative rock stuff um and you know and then once i got into punk stuff you know randy from pennywise and you know you just listen to all that stuff um then you pick up little things and now he's listening to so much different music that i mean name a bass player i, I probably like him i think why bands you know and why our band has evolved and i think what people like about us is because we do all these different styles of music and if we if we only listen to punk and we were just a punk band i don't think i don't think we'd have half the fan base that we have the fact that we do little metal stuff um, we have popular songs as well. I think it's like broadens our. Can we ever expect like a full on metal album from Sum 41? <laughs> Probably not. Well, I mean, maybe if it was Dave, if it was <laughs> Brown Dave Sound? then we would do that, but um, I don't really see it though. <laughs> still believe in the power of rock and roll music! Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Daniel Sarkissian. I'm an independent filmmaker from Toronto.